Hi, we're going to try to find the sum of this infinite series. We have one plus e over pi plus e squared over pi squared plus e cubed over pi cubed plus dot dot dot. So this looks like it's a geometric series solution. And it looks like the common ratio is e over pi. So to get from one to e over pi, we multiply by e over pi. To get from e over pi to e squared over pi squared, we multiply by e over pi. So our r, which is called the common ratio, is e over pi. If it's not obvious, you can just take any of these and divide it by the previous to get this. So for example, you could take this one and divide it by this. So if you look at e squared over pi squared and divide it by the previous, e over pi, well, that's equal to e squared over pi squared and when you divide by e over pi, you really multiply by the reciprocal, so pi over e. And you see we lose a copy of the e and a copy of the pi, and so we're left with e over pi, which is r. So that always works. You can just take any of these and divide by the previous. Or like this one divided by the previous will give you e over pi. This one divided by the previous will give you e over pi. So that's our r. And so e is like 2.7 something, and pi is like 3.14 or something. So this is less than one in absolute value. So our series is going to converge. So if the absolute value of R is less than one, then the series converges uh, by what people call the geometric series test. So we know it converges, we know it's equal to a number. To find the number, it's actually really easy. So you just take the first term, which in this case is one, and then you divide, <laughs> then you divide uh, by one minus r. So in this case, one minus e over pi. And that's the answer. I mean, you could leave it like this. Um, so again, it's just the first term, which happens to be one, and then you divide by one minus r, and that's the answer. Now, we could clean this up. Let's do that. I'm gonna multiply this by pi over pi, which is basically multiplying by one. So this is pi over here, this pi in the bottom, it's going to get distributed. So pi times 1 is pi. And then pi times e over pi is just e. So we have the cool answer of pi over pi minus e. Kind of a fun uh, geometric series. I, ho I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.